How to Make Your Country a Success, Mexico. Welcome back to Earth Basics. Here we are with another exciting video, especially for Mexicans. If you're someone living in Mexico, you definitely need to watch this. So let's kick off with a snapshot of Mexico today. We're talking about a country with incredible landscapes, amazing food, and vibrant culture. But beneath the surface, Mexico faces some economic, social, and political challenges. It's like a mix of opportunity and complexity all rolled into one. Now think about the Mexico we want to see in the year 2050. We're not talking about science fiction, but a very real future. We're envisioning a Mexico that's thriving economically, where people from all walks of life enjoy a good standard of living, and where the political landscape is stable and forward-thinking. It's an exciting journey, and we're here to lay out the roadmap to make it a reality. So let's dive in and explore the steps on Mexico's path to success. Economic Development Heading toward our first section, let's talk about economic development first. In spite of economic difficulties, Mexico's mixed market economy ranks 12th in the world in terms of nominal GDP. The 2008 recession was devastating to the country, resulting in a GDP decline of more than 6%. In April of this year, Mexico's GDP was estimated at a mighty $1.15 trillion nominally and a whopping $2.45 trillion PPP. The agricultural sector accounts for 4% of GDP. The industrial sector accounts for 33%, with automobiles, oil, and electronics in the forefront. And the service sector accounts for 63%, with financial services and tourism at the forefront. This equates to a nominal GDP per capita of roughly $18,714.05, making Mexico the second wealthiest country in Latin America, behind only Brazil. Mexico has been quite the busy bee in the world of international trade. By the end of 2013, it has sealed the deal with 12 different free trade agreements spanning across 44 countries. One of these gems is the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, which celebrated its 20th birthday in 2014. Now, Mexico isn't one to keep its doors closed. It's an open economy where trading goods and services makes up a whopping 64% of its GDP. Moreover, the United States is still Mexico's most important economic partner, accounting for roughly 80% of its merchandise exports. Mexico is so committed to the future that it was a founding member of the Pacific Alliance. The World Bank seems to have a good opinion of Mexico, ranking it 54th in the world for the ease of doing business, which is pretty good news for business folks. In comparison, Brazil sits at 116th place and Argentina at 126th. Chile takes the crown in Latin America, sitting pretty at 34th place. The country has been playing it smart on the fiscal front running a small budget deficit with low public debt for almost two decades. That's a good sign of a fiscally responsible government. However, they've got a bit of a tax issue with around 60% of their workforce not registered in the tax system. That's not helping with their income inequality and informal economy situation. Now, Mexico has been working hard to rev up its economic engines for the last 30 years, despite opening up to global markets like with NAFTA. The real GDP growth, unfortunately, hasn't kept pace with similar developing nations, especially in Asia. GDP per capita and living standards haven't seen the improvements they'd hoped for. One major challenge is productivity. Mexico's got a dual personality in its economy. There's the modern, highly productive part, then there's the low productivity traditional part. While the modern sector's on fire, the traditional one is struggling, and it's dragging down the overall productivity. Productivity in the traditional sector has fallen significantly. Mexico is a significant auto producer and has seen tremendous expansion in its manufacturing sector. They're manufacturing facilities for seven of the world's leading automotive manufacturers and suppliers located there. Although the best Mexican plants are more prolific than the U.S. average, manufacturing in Mexico is only approximately 24% as productive as in the U.S. The country has seen significant growth fueled by population increase, but that trend is slowing down. Since 1981, GDP growth has averaged around 2.3% per year, and in 2012, the average Mexican worker was still earning less per hour in purchasing power parity than in 1981. China is closing in, and unless something changes, it might surpass Mexico in the near future. In a nutshell, Mexico is a bustling player in the world of trade but faces productivity challenges and the growing pains of shifting from a traditional to a modern economy. 
trade and exports. Let's have an insightful discussion on Mexico's trade and export sector. Mexico has a knack for building strong trade relationships, starting with its membership in the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade GATT, back in 1986. Today it actively engages with the World Trade Organization, playing a significant role on the global trade stage. The country's trade prowess extends to a remarkable 12 free trade agreements with 44 different countries. This widespread network of agreements opens doors to markets around the world, making Mexico a sought-after partner in the global economic arena. Mexico isn't content with the status quo. It's expressed interest in becoming an associate member of Mercosur, the South American trade bloc. Additionally, the Mexican government has initiated trade agreements with countries like South Korea, Singapore, and Peru. This proactive approach shows Mexico's commitment to expanding its trade horizons. The standout star among Mexico's trade agreements is the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, which includes the United States and Canada. It's more than just a typical trade deal, it's comprehensive in scope. This groundbreaking agreement evolved into the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, USMCA, awaiting the final stamp of approval from Canada. NAFTA goes beyond trade, it's known for its green side. It tackles environmental concerns and promotes initiatives for reducing pollution. It also focuses on labor cooperation to improve standards across North America. The combined impact of these agreements has been instrumental in shaping trade in the region. In terms of people movement, NAFTA's TN status has allowed Mexican and Canadian professionals to work in the United States, creating opportunities for cross-border talent exchange. However, it's important to note that NAFTA's primary focus has been on trade and less on open borders for people. While these trade agreements have had significant benefits, Mexico still faces challenges in areas like education, innovation, infrastructure, and agriculture. These areas are essential for Mexico to maximize the advantages offered by these agreements fully. In essence, Mexico is a dynamic player in the world of trade, boasting a diverse network of agreements and a forward-looking attitude. These agreements, including the influential NAFTA, have played a pivotal role in Mexico's economic landscape. The nation is committed to not only maintaining, but also expanding its role in the global trade theater. With Mexico's vibrant trade agreements and commitment to growth, how can these international partnerships potentially pave the way for even more economic prosperity in Mexico's future? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Social and Educational Development now let's turn a spotlight on Mexico's journey in the world of social and educational development. Mexico's commitment to social and educational development encompasses a multifaceted approach, addressing various aspects of well-being and knowledge. There have been several positive changes in Mexico's educational system over the years. Primary school enrollment has increased dramatically, from 88% in 2000 to 97% in 2019. Secondary school attendance has also increased significantly. This exemplifies Mexico's efforts to provide access to high-quality education. The dramatic increase in literacy rates from 88% in 1990 to 95% in 2018 demonstrates the nation's dedication to establishing a solid educational foundation for its citizens. Coming towards healthcare access, Mexico recognizes the importance of healthcare access and social safety nets for its citizens. Public healthcare programs like Seguro Popular have extended medical services to millions. Robust vaccination programs, such as the National Vaccination Schedule, ensure that children receive essential immunizations, reducing the prevalence of preventable diseases. Social safety nets like Prospera, now renamed Benito Juarez, provide critical financial assistance to low-income families, illustrating Mexico's commitment to safeguarding the health and well-being of its population. Programs like Prospera are defining features of the country's anti-poverty effort. The poverty rate has decreased noticeably as a direct result of these initiatives. The poverty rate fell dramatically from 52.3% in 2012 to 46.2% .2 in 2014. This decline indicates how effective poverty alleviation programs can be in enhancing the quality of life for individuals in need. Additionally, Mexico's urban and rural infrastructure projects have played a transformative role in enhancing living conditions. The Programa Nacional de Vivienda, National Housing Program, has facilitated housing construction for numerous families, addressing urban housing challenges. In rural areas, sanitation projects have brought significant improvements. Initiatives like Agua Limpia en Mi Comunidad, Clean Water in My Community, have extended access to clean water and enhanced sanitation facilities in many villages. 
Mexico's urban transportation systems have undergone remarkable upgrades, with projects like the Mexico City Metrobus system revolutionizing public transport, providing efficient and eco-friendly commuting options to urban dwellers. Mexico's journey in social and educational development is marked by impressive progress in enrollment rates, literacy, and anti-poverty initiatives. This transformation from the past to the present reflects Mexico's commitment to a more prosperous and equitable future. Environmental Sustainability With these comprehensive efforts in environmental sustainability, Mexico not only addresses its ecological challenges, but also shapes a more sustainable and resilient future. What lies ahead for Mexico in its pursuit of environmental excellence? Mexico's journey towards environmental sustainability is underpinned by a multifaceted approach that encompasses a comprehensive environmental impact assessment, renewable energy development, and specific conservation efforts. With a transition to a greener future, Mexico has prioritized a rigorous environmental impact assessment. This assessment spans a range of critical factors, including carbon emissions and biodiversity. In recent years, the nation has demonstrated a strong commitment to reducing carbon emissions. Notably, from 2010 to 2020, Mexico managed to decrease its CO2 emissions by 3%, highlighting significant progress in its fight against climate change. Additionally, Mexico is home to an incredibly rich biodiversity, boasting numerous species of flora and fauna. The country's vast protected areas, such as the Sierra Gorda Biosphere Reserve, provide safe havens for its unique ecosystems. To achieve its sustainability goals, Mexico has prioritized the development of renewable energy sources. Significant resources have been allocated to developing renewable energy sources. Clean energy products including solar, wind, and hydro have been rapidly progressing in recent years. In particular, the nearly two-fold increase in wind energy's installed capacity between 2016 and 2020 is significant. If Mexico is serious about ensuring a sustainable energy future, it must make this switch to renewable sources. Mexico's commitment to conservation efforts is clearly visible. The nation has established a significant number of protected areas, contributing to its biodiversity preservation. The Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is an excellent example of Mexico's dedication to safeguarding critical habitats. Reforestation projects have also gained momentum with over 300,000 hectares reforested from 2019 to 2021. These efforts are instrumental in mitigating deforestation and its environmental impact. As we've covered all the major aspects that a country needs to be rich, let's shift ourselves towards a major question. Can Mexico become a global superpower in 2050? What do you think? By considering all the factors and examples, I think the answer to that question is yes. But how? Listen up. Mexico's economy, already one of the world's largest, has the potential to grow significantly. For instance, the growth of the electronics industry, with a 20% increase between 2010 and 2011, highlights Mexico's capability to compete globally. As the second largest exporter of electronics to the United States, Mexico exported a staggering $71.4 billion worth of electronics in 2011, showcasing its manufacturing prowess. Trade diversification also plays a crucial role. Mexico's involvement in trade agreements has broadened its horizons. For instance, the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, now USMCA, is a testament to Mexico's commitment to international trade. NAFTA allowed Mexican and Canadian citizens to request TN status, permitting them to temporarily emigrate to the United States, further facilitating cross-border collaboration. Social and educational development is exemplified by initiatives like Prospera, which made substantial reductions in poverty rates from 52.3% in 2012 to 46.2% in 2014. Additionally, infrastructure projects such as the National Housing Program have led to better living conditions. The Mexico City Metrobus system is a prime example of urban transportation improvements, making commuting more efficient. In terms of environmental sustainability, Mexico's reduction of CO2 emissions by 3% from 2010 to 2020 demonstrates its commitment to addressing climate change. The Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a tangible illustration of Mexico's dedication to biodiversity conservation. Although these advances are noteworthy, problems such as income disparity and insecurity still exist. While Mexico's economy is growing, income inequality is still a problem. 
to achieve its goals of growing worldwide prominence and economic prosperity, Mexico must overcome these obstacles. Despite the path's potential, navigating the world's complex dynamics successfully will take consistent work and careful planning. Now, do not forget to pour in your thoughts in the comments section below. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you in the next of Earth Basics.